Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers, back to one of my favourite toy lines, if not my favourite toy line, Acid Rain World. So, previously I reviewed the Stealth Camelbot, Camelbot, burr, 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 which is a fantastic figure. You see his artwork on here, and I'll put his review in suggested videos. Today we're looking at two more Camelbots that just got released. I've actually had these for two days, we might be able to tell by my... From my uh, background, I'm in a new place. I've actually moved house, and that had to take priority over toys. I know, right? Uh, so I've moved now. I've not really unpacked much, but I've unpacked enough and settled in enough so I can have a look at these two. Okay, so <coughs> put this away. So one is the Maritime Camelbot. That's the Neo Atlantis. The other just says MT40 Camelbot, and that's from. Naus or N-A-U-S or however, however you want to pronounce that. Both look pretty cool. Just looking at the back, we can see that the Neo Atlantis one, that's the blue and orange sort of one, has a different head to the stealth and it looks like maybe the, the Naus, the N-A-U-S one might be different as well. Uh, artwork is really nice. I do like the artwork on these. In fact, we, if I take these out of plastic, we can compare the artwork on all of them, and then I'll open them up. We can have a look at the actual figures. I won't go through the articulation again since we've seen it already on the review for this one, which I've just ooh, a moment ago stuck in the videos for you guys. You want to check it out, but articulation is really, really good. In fact, I'll take my change my mind. I'll look at some of the articulation just to remind you guys. If you've forgotten or to show you if you haven't seen before okay so first we notice that on the neo atlantis one is a very bright blue colored box that's a new color and then on the naus it's a green one not the stealth sort of dark gray we'll come back to those in a moment okay let's look at the uh artwork this one's obviously the most sort of action-packed, followed by this one, and then this one's the least action-packed, but I kind of like this one the most. These look like the sort of things that would be raiding um, shipping ports and containers, and then you've got the container guards, the container puppets, fighting with your Neo-Atlantis forces, Neo-Atlantis Camelbots. That'd be quite interesting. Looking on the back, we can see that... They all come with something slightly different, it looks like. Or am I mistaken? Let's have a look. So, the uh, Neo Atlantis one comes with the same rifles as the Stealth and the NAUS, but also comes with pistols. Also has the same attachments we have with the Stealth, same attachments. This one, but there's also an extra part with the NAUS one. I'm not sure that, that's sort of a round, oops a round part if you can see on the uh, camera just up here this one here okay let's crack these open and have a look so the head is definitely different on both of them compared to the original and he's got holsters on his thighs, and so has the other one for their pistols. So that is a nice new touch. Now they just, uh, Acid Rain World, Toys Launches, have just sort of previewed, showed us the new version coming out. Is it called the Interceptor? I forget. Uh, which has got like the bigger feet and the different head and that looks fantastic. I can't wait for that to come out as well. So we can see that the heads are different to each other and are also different to the original Stealth Camelbot as well, which I will look at in a second. Now this one here, he's slightly loose in his hip joints. But that is an easy fix. In fact, I made a video on how to tighten hip joints on 
action figures a while back. I'll stick that as just the videos for you if you want to check that out. And I might be doing that to this one a bit. In fact, I say it's a bit loose. It's, it's, this is going to sound really strange. It's loose and tight at the same time. Okay, so. Yeah, he's really struggling to get his legs in a good position. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so the backs are the same as you would suspect. These two have the holsters on the legs. Heads are different. Here is the original. Here's the um, is it NSAU or NAUS. The NAUS. With this bar across the top. And he has sort of two lenses as opposed to two and a slit on the uh, stealth camera bot. And then the... Uh, Marine Maritime Neo Atlantis one, which I think looks really cool, almost like a traffic camera, looks really great as well. And these do transform, by the way, into like a almost like a cat mode. So, here are the instructions for the Neo Atlantis one. And it shows you the transformation and what it looks like in alternative mode there, which I'm not going to look at since I've done it already on a previous video with the stealth camel bot. Okay, let's have a look at the weapons on both of these because there was a couple of differences with the pistols. Okay, these parts are standard. And then we have these new pistols, which are rather cool. With drilled barrels again, very, very nice. Standard guns we've seen before. They also have these attachments, these bars you can stick into the chest here. Now, I'm curious to see what the new or the different part was. Aha, it looks like armor with this one here. Let's have a look. With the, with the uh, NAUS. So we don't want to put these little attachments back in so don't lose them. Otherwise, it's the same apart from that extra piece. Oh, we get a, a different gun as well. This is a new gun here as well. I like this. Again with a drill barrel. And this, I'm assuming, is an armor piece that will fit over here. But to keep it in, it looks like we have to use our rail parts. Looks cool without, looks better with, has to be said. Not sure if you can pick it up in the light here. Does look good. Okay, let's give the gun, the pistols a test and the holsters. Because normally acid rain roll pistols are pistols stand holsters really well. You're not gonna lose them in a hurry if they go into the holsters. Have a look. And yeah, very secure. And that'll be the same on the Neo Atlantis version as well. And the hands is very rubbery and holds the pistol particularly well. That probably better to show in the Atlantis since it's a brighter colour, it'll contrast more. I use his uh, right hand, not his left hand this time. Holds that exceptionally well to be honest. And give an idea of the articulation, look at how tight that elbow bend is. That's like, I can't get that tight, I get stuck here. He gets all the way. Very, very cool. Okay, let's look at the new rifle, the new gun we've not seen before. And this gun is suitable for both these and the normal acid rain figures. Though he will struggle a bit because of the stock. But he does hold that well. Okay, let me get his... Uh, 
like rails, bars, I don't know, his bars and stick them on all with his armour just to get that effect complete. Let's see what he looks like. So tomorrow morning I've got a policeman coming around my house to take a picture with me. Then after that I need to go to the uh, local public security bureau with his picture and say, hey, look, I really live here. And then register as a foreigner because I've moved to a different district of Beijing. Welcome to China. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so let me see. It fits, but it's not a tight fit because there's nothing that clips on the bottom. See, it's a, it's a bit loose, which is a bit... I was still going to say disheartening. It would be better if it was a tight fit, but it still looks good. Okay, let's have a look at these in a couple of action poses now. In fact, I will look at articulation. So his legs don't go so far before the sculpt gets in the way. You could cut some of that orange part down here and you get further into splits, but it's acceptable. Forwards is all right. Backwards is probably better than forwards. It's got a good double knee joint, so you can get exceptionally tight. Look at that. Pow. And then he has a turn, and he has up, down, and but there is no side to side swivel. But he does have an ankle, sorry, he does have an ankle one here, which is unusual, but also very good. Still can get his feet flat if his legs are out. And these guys are just insane for their balance and posing. So let me just get a nice action pose with his two pistols and see if I can get his. Uh, Oh, I need to put his back part on for the guns. I forgot about that. Never mind. How easy is that to balance and pose? Look at that. So fast. Very, very easy. Very, very good. And he does look really good. I, I am a fan of this colour scheme. I didn't think I'd like it, if I'm honest. But now that I've got it in hand... Particularly with this weathering, it looks really quite good. Uh, favorite head, original Neo Atlantis or the NAUS? Um, not original, though I do like the original. I think probably the NAUS. It's got this far more menacing robot feel about it. I think this one's a little bit like sort of like a speed camera or infrared camera, but. It's good nonetheless. Very, very nice. Uh, worth noting the shoulders are on a ball. So he's got all that motion and he can get ridiculously high. And it also pops off, I should say, as well. Uh, but it's just a clip, so it goes on very, very easy. And he does have double, he has trunk at the top. And he has a trunk in the middle and a trunk at the bottom that turns, that all moves. So he's got like three joints in his waist. It's a ridiculous to waist articulation. That's because when he transforms, he needs to have more flexibility in his waist. Very, very nice looking figure indeed. I do like these. And they do come with these lovely great big guns here as well. In fact, if I put this on the back now. With these parts here that they come with, they clip on the bottom and then they slot in the top. But 
I will take off his chest piece for this. And then when they are in, the guns he come with can just be stowed on the back or in his um in his uh, sort of transformed mode the guns can be used as mounted guns actually used in the mode not just stowed But when you do this, you can't have, well, let me rephrase that, it's difficult to have these parts in. So you can do both together, if I remember correctly. Whew. He is ready for some action. But this NAUS one He's slightly more difficult to pose because of that left hip is just a bit weak in some positions and too tight in other positions. But that is something that I can fix. Great figures, great additions. I now have with the, I've got two stealth camel bots now, and I've got with these other two new ones, four camel bots in total. Woo! They are pretty damn cool, has to be said. Okay, if you've not seen them before, we've got close by. To give you an idea of sc scale, size, they are big boys. I do have my uh, Sand Team Cossack Marksman on hand. And I'll just compare, compare, compare him for you so you can see how big they are. Uh, he will be in suggested videos for you as well if you've not seen that review yet. Worth watching because he is an amazing figure. He has soft goods as well which is awesome. Look at that. <laughs> He's just dwarfed by these by these figures. Now they're all gonna fall over. Okay. You stand up first. Okay, you set the example. So here he is. Let's get our near Atlantis standing up. You can see how big though they are like maybe 20%, 15% bigger than he is. Quite a lot. And they do look good. Very, very nice looking toys. Another great release by uh, Toys Alliance, making Acid Rain, Rain World figures. Okay, this is awesome action toys, and I am signing out saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back in more awesome action toy videos Boop. for you. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.